Are you up for a stroll down memory lane? Let's chat about the classic TV series Route 66. This show, packed with funny, shocking, and sad moments, really left a lasting impression on viewers. With its memorable characters and interesting stories, Route 66 took audiences on a journey through the American landscape, exploring the highways and byways of the country. Did you have a favorite character from the series? Whether it was Todd or Buzz, or maybe someone else entirely, each role brought something special to the show. From the bond between the main characters to the encounters with different people along their travels, Route 66 kept audiences hooked episode after episode. Now, we want to hear from you. What's your fondest memory or personal experience related to this beloved show? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your nostalgia is our joy. Keep watching for more interesting facts and trivia about Route 66. There's still plenty more to uncover about this beloved show. Route 66 was a popular American TV show from the 1960s. It followed two young men, Todd Stiles and Buzz Murdoch, as they traveled in their Corvette along Route 66. Todd, played by Martin Milner, hit the road after a family tragedy, while Buzz, played by George Maharis, joined him to escape his own problems. The show was set in the early 1960s and showed the journey of Todd and Buzz as they faced challenges and met different people along the way. The show was praised for its storytelling and characters. It received many award nominations and had a loyal fan base. Even though it aired decades ago, it remains a memorable part of TV history. It's a reminder of how stories can connect with people and leave a lasting impression. George Maharis, an American actor, singer, and artist, portrayed Buzz Murdoch in the initial three seasons of the TV series. He cited health reasons for his departure, expressing concerns about the demanding shooting conditions. In a 1963 interview, he stated, I have to protect my future. If I keep going at the present pace, I'm a fool. Even if you have $4,000 in the bank, you can't buy another liver. After leaving the show, his career suffered setbacks. A sensational story about his relationship with a lover was published, leading to a decline in casting opportunities. He claimed that the casting offices stopped calling after the tabloid story. In Route 66, Susan Oliver appeared, known for her role as the original Orion slave girl in Star Trek. Martin Milner, who played Todd Stiles, drove a 1962 Chevrolet Corvette. Interestingly, several future movie stars nearly joined the cast. Initially, Robert Redford auditioned for Todd Stiles, but lost to Milner. Later, when George Maharis left, Burt Reynolds was considered, but he was busy with Gunsmoke. Another contender was Robert Duvall, but the producers opted for Glenn Corbett. This blend of talent added depth to the series. Susan Oliver, a stunning blonde known for her roles in 1960s movies, often portrayed troubled characters. She gained television fame on Peyton Place when her character was killed off. Oliver also garnered attention as Vina in the original series pilot. Jack Kerouac claimed the show was inspired by his book On the Road. Originally, it was to be named The Searchers, but producers changed it to avoid confusion with a popular John Wayne Western. At 32 years old, George Maharis took on the role of Buzz Murdoch in the TV series Route 66 in 1960, portraying a character aged 23. He earned an Emmy nomination in 1962 for consistently bringing Buzz to life. Peter Graves, Maharis co-star, bore resemblances to Buddy Ebsen and Martin Landau. Graves later joined Mission Impossible in 1966. Interestingly, both Landau and Ebsen had ties to Mission Impossible as well. Alex Cord, another Route 66 figure, appeared in both the original and second versions of Mission Impossible. In both cases, his characters carried a cane despite no apparent need for one. These actors, each contributing uniquely, added character nuances to the show. Their subsequent connections to Mission Impossible bring additional layers to their careers. Suzanne Plachette was initially considered for the role of Catwoman in Batman, but lost out to Julie Newmar. Maharis fell ill during filming, exacerbated by exposure to cold water during episodes like Even Stones Have Eyes, and There I Am There I Always Am. He eventually left the series due to health concerns, leading to Glenn Corbett taking over his role. Glenn Corbett, known for his role in Star Trek, replaced Maharis. Interestingly, the character he played in Star Trek was later portrayed by James Cromwell in a subsequent film. Martin Milner, known for his roles in Route 66 and Adam 12, held leading positions in both TV series. 
Julie Numar, while visiting her brother in New York, was approached to play Catwoman on Batman after being encouraged by her brother's friends who were avid watchers. Susan Oliver, famous for her role in Star Trek, had an action figure released in celebration of the show's 30th anniversary. She portrayed the character Vina on the cage. Susan Oliver, known for her book Odyssey, talked about her adventures as a pilot. She shared her scary experience of surviving a plane crash in 1966. Despite this, she still loved flying. Interestingly, in the 60s, two popular TV shows, Star Trek and The Fugitive, only had one two-part episode each. Susan Oliver appeared in both of these episodes, which left a strong impression. Julie Newmar, who played Catwoman in the 60s Batman series, showed up at the 25th Annual Razzie Awards. Surprisingly, she wasn't there to get praise, but to accept the Worst Picture Award for the 2004 Catwoman remake starring Hal Berry. It was a funny moment at a fancy event showing Numar's playful side and long-lasting impact on entertainment. In the series, Glenn Corbett mentioned that none of his episodes were filmed along the real Route 66. He expressed that the producers found the actual highway's scenery uninteresting, leading them to explore alternative locations. Interestingly, deviating from Route 66, authentic backdrop added a unique dimension to the show, showcasing diverse landscapes that captivated the audience. Peter Graves, another key figure from the series, received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for television in 2009. This honor acknowledged his significant contributions to television, solidifying his place in the entertainment industry. Graves' star serves as a lasting tribute to his successful TV career. Martin Milner and George Maharis, integral to the series' success, later reunited in SST Death Flight, demonstrating the enduring bond forged during their time on the show. Their collaboration beyond Route 66 underscored the lasting friendships and professional connections that can emerge from shared experiences in the world of entertainment. The web of relationships and achievements among the cast extends beyond the confines of the legendary highway. Each actor's individual journey, marked by successes and recognitions, contributes to the collective narrative of the series' impact on television history. The careers of these actors continue to be celebrated by fans and industry professionals alike. In conclusion, the stories of Corbett, Graves, Milner, and Maharis reflect the lasting impact of Route 66, a legacy that transcends the confines of a single highway and resonates through the annals of television history. Their significant contributions and the interconnected paths they traversed create a narrative that transcends time, a narrative expertly captured and shared with audiences around the world. Route 66, a TV series from the 1960s, is often linked with Peter Graves, who later became well-known as Jim Phelps in Mission Impossible. Graves played a significant role in the series, leaving a strong impression on the audience. In one famous episode, Boris Karloff and Lon Chaney Jr. joined the cast, bringing back their well-known Universal Frankenstein monster and Wolfman looks after many years. This episode remains a standout moment in the series, showcasing the reunion of these legendary characters. However, the show faced a setback during its third season when George Maharis, a crucial cast member, left due to hepatitis. Some sources suggest dissatisfaction with his contract and a desire to pursue film work along with conflicts with producers. Glenn Corbett stepped in as a replacement, but the audience did not warm up to the change leading to the cancellation of the show. Looking back, Route 66 had its ups and downs with Peter Graves leaving a lasting impression and a memorable episode featuring well-known horror figures. The challenges faced during George Mahara's departure and subsequent replacement highlight the delicate balance needed to keep the audience engaged. In the 1960s, Susan Oliver appeared in two episodes of Route 66, portraying characters caught up in prison scenarios on alien planets. Notably, Tina in People Are Alike All Over and Vina in The Cage shared similarities, not only in their incarceration settings, but also in their names. Martin Milner, a key figure in Route 66, later starred in another buddy series, Adam 12, playing officer Peter Mulloy alongside Kent McCord as rookie cop Jim Reed. Their on-screen partnership mirrored a genuine friendship off-screen, with McCord acknowledging Milner's lasting influence on the industry. The series, produced by Jack Webb, depicted realistic portrayals of police procedures, similar to Webb's earlier Dragnet TV shows. Milner's association with Webb dated back to their collaboration on Halls of Montezuma. 
Even during Milner's military stint at Ford Ord, Northern California, Webb found ways to involve him in Dragnet radio episodes, illustrating the lasting bond between the two. Lee Marvin, another notable figure associated with Route 66, faced challenges during the filming of The Professionals due to his struggles with alcoholism. His strained relationship with Burt Lancaster prompted director Richard Brooks to intervene, fearing potential confrontations on set. In summary, the cast of Route 66, including Susan Oliver, Martin Milner, and Lee Marvin, left lasting impressions on the industry. Milner's transition to Adam-12 showcased his versatility, while Lee Marvin's personal struggles added complexity to his professional endeavors. These behind-the-scenes dynamics contribute to the captivating story of Route 66 and its cast. Martin Milner starred in two television shows, Route 66 and Adam-12. Both are known for filming on location rather than on a soundstage. Lon Chaney Jr. aimed to reprise his father's role in The Hunchback of Notre Dame, but ended up playing it in an episode of the TV series. In one Route 66 episode, Todd and Buzz run out of gas and encounter Buzz's look-alike siblings. The patriarch of the family is portrayed by Lon Chaney. These siblings, Paul, Harold, and Cleopatra Maharas, bear an uncanny resemblance to Buzz. It's revealed they are his actual siblings. David Morrill, a devoted fan of the series, found himself intrigued by the story of Route 66. The show, known for its clear storytelling, grabbed the attention of various viewers during its time on air. Julie Newmar, widely known for her role as Catwoman in Batman, also left her impression on the show. Her appearance in the second season episode Friday's Child in 1967 displayed her versatility beyond her famous character. Susan Oliver, famous for her role as Anne Howard in Peyton Place, faced a twist of fate in 1966. Just a week after her character's exit from the show, she survived a plane crash near Santa Paula Ca, piloted by a friend. This incident added a real-life aspect to her journey. The show, through its captivating stories and diverse cast, left a lasting impression on fans and attracted talents like Julie Newmar and Susan Oliver. Appreciated for its simplicity, the series continues to be remembered for its influence on television storytelling. Leslie Nielsen, known for his role in Forbidden Planet, may be considered an early enthusiast of Star Trek. Following the debut episode, Nielsen, impressed, called the production office offering commendations. Star Trek drew inspiration from Nielsen's Forbidden Planet. George Maharis, a key figure in the Route 66 series, departed near the end of its third season due to contractual disputes. Glenn Corbett took over as Martin Milner's new partner, but the chemistry wasn't the same. The series struggled and eventually faced cancellation after just over a season with Corbett. Anne Francis, a notable figure, spent her childhood at 66 1199th Street in Forest Hills, New York. These snippets capture the dynamic elements and changes within the series and highlight connections to influential figures in the entertainment industry. The television series Route 66, recognized for its unique concept of two young men traveling across the United States in a Corvette, faced an abrupt end after its fourth season. Despite plans for a fifth season set in Europe, the show was canceled before this distinctive venture could materialize. Interestingly, this cancellation paved the way for another series, I Spy, to claim the title of the first American show filmed overseas. Julie Newmar, a notable figure in the series, holds the distinction of being one of five actors who played a special guest villain on Batman and are still alive today. The others in this exclusive group include John Aston, Joan Collins, Glynis Johns, and Barbara Rush. Despite its title, the series didn't restrict itself to locations along the famed highway. Notably, some episodes were set in areas not covered by Route 66, such as New England. Season 4 featured episodes shot in Maine and Vermont, deviating from the traditional Chicago to Los Angeles route. Both episodes, aired in the fall of 1963, starred Martin Milner and Glenn Corbett, showcasing the show's flexibility in exploring diverse American landscapes. In conclusion, Route 66, though not venturing into its planned European fifth season, left a significant impact on television history with its distinctive concept and geographical diversity. Route 66, a TV series from the early 1960s, featured a Corvette that changed colors throughout its run. Contrary to popular belief, it was not red but light blue, beige, and tan in different seasons. The show was structured as an anthology with the main two characters appearing in every episode. 
Peter Graves, a notable actor, directed his older brother James Arnos in one episode. This familial collaboration added depth to the series. Route 66's unique format and memorable elements made it a classic of its time, resonating with audiences through its diverse stories and characters. Route 66, the iconic TV series, gained popularity in 1960. Martin Milner and George Maharis starred as two young men, Todd Stiles and Buzz Murdoch, respectively. They embarked on a journey across the United States in a red Corvette convertible, meeting various people along the way. Inspired by Jack Kerouac's On the Road, the show featured rising actors like Robert Redford and Gene Hackman. The highway itself played a significant role in the series, symbolizing America's westward migration. Filmed entirely on location, the show captured the essence of different towns and cities. Maharis left due to illness in the third season, replaced by Glenn Corbett. However, the show's magic dwindled, leading to its cancellation after one more season. Michael Rennie, known for his roles in Titanic-related productions, appeared in the pilot episode of The Time Tunnel in 1966, connecting him to the Titanic once again. Route 66 remains a memorable part of television history, showcasing the adventures of two men on an unforgettable journey across America. Route 66, a television series from the 1960s, had distinct characteristics that set it apart. Sponsored by Chevrolet, the show featured a notable element Todd's frequent acquisition of a new Corvette every 3,000 miles. The mechanics of this arrangement remained unexplained throughout the series. The series' writers embarked on a unique approach to storytelling. They traversed the United States, seeking diverse locations to serve as backdrops for each episode. Notably, every installment was filmed on location, adding an authentic touch to the narrative. Interestingly, the show's origins trace back to an episode of Naked City titled Four Sweet Corners, where George Maharis played Johnny Gary and Robert Morris portrayed Link Ridgway. However, Morris's unfortunate demise before the series pickup altered the course, leading to Martin Milner taking on the role of Todd Stiles. In summary, Route 66, with its recurrent Corvette replacements and on-location filming, presented a distinctive approach to storytelling, making it a notable series of its time. In the 1960s, there was a TV series called Route 66. It had a surprising moment when one of the main actors, George Maharis, got very sick with hepatitis and had to leave during the fourth season. This was sad news for both the people making the show and the fans who enjoyed watching it. George Maharis played a character named Buzz Murdoch, who was important to the story. When he had to leave, they brought in another actor named Glenn Corbett to play a new character named Link Case. But it wasn't quite the same, and the chemistry between the actors changed. This change was a big deal for the show and its fans. It showed how hard it can be to keep making a TV show when something unexpected happens to one of the main actors. Despite this problem, Route 66 finished its fourth season. But George Maharis leaving and the changes they made because of it are still remembered as a big part of the show's history. In short, when George Maharis got sick and had to leave Route 66, it changed the show and left a lasting impression. In one episode of the series, a tragic event occurred behind the scenes. During the filming of an intense scene, a stuntman lost his life in a devastating accident. It was a stark reminder of the risks involved in creating the thrilling action sequences that often captivated audiences. Despite efforts to ensure safety on set, this incident served as a somber moment in the show's history, highlighting the dangers faced by those working in the entertainment industry. The show followed the journey of two young men, Todd and Buzz, as they traveled across America in search of adventure, meaning, and themselves. Each episode brought them to a new location, where they encountered a diverse cast of characters and explored the cultural aspects of the United States. The series was praised for its realistic portrayal of life on the road and its exploration of social issues such as race relations, poverty, and chasing dreams. It captured the spirit of the early 1960s, reflecting the hope and uncertainty of the era. Throughout its four-season run, it featured guest appearances from a wide range of actors, including future stars such as Robert Redford, Martin Sheen, and Gene Hackman. Its innovative use of location shooting and on-location filming added to its authenticity and sense of adventure. Despite its popularity, the show ultimately came to an end in 1964. While its reruns and DVD releases keep its memory alive, its significance in television storytelling and its ability to connect with audiences continue to be remembered fondly by fans. 
In the 1960s, there was a famous TV series called Route 66. During its production, one of the main actors, George Maharis, got very sick with hepatitis. Because of this, he had to take a long break from the show. His co-star, Martin Milner, had to carry the story on his own for a while. This unexpected problem was hard for the people making the show. They had to change the story quickly to deal with Maharis being gone. Milner's character, Todd Stiles, became more important to keep the story going without Maharis. This health issue didn't just affect making the show. It changed how the story felt and where it went. The cast and crew had to be strong and flexible to deal with this problem and keep the show going. In short, Route 66 had a surprise with George Maharis getting sick. It made big changes to the story and how it was told. In the 1960s, a popular TV series known as Route 66 experienced a tragic incident during the filming of an episode titled 50 Miles from Home. A young actor, Troy Donahue, who was a guest star on the show, received devastating news about his mother's unexpected passing. Despite this personal tragedy, Donahue demonstrated a high level of professionalism by choosing to continue with the filming. His commitment to the show left a lasting impression on the cast and crew. The series followed two young men, Todd Stiles and Buzz Murdoch, as they traveled across the United States in a Chevrolet Corvette, encountering various characters and situations along the famous Route 66 highway. Created by Sterling Siliphant and produced by Herbert B. Leonard, the show ran for four seasons, exploring contemporary social issues through its episodic format. Throughout its run, the series addressed themes such as race relations, social justice, and the pursuit of the American dream, reflecting the turbulent era in which it was produced. The show featured notable guest stars, including Martin Sheen, Robert Redford, and Lee Marvin, contributing to its cultural significance. Despite its cancellation in 1964, Route 66 remains a significant landmark in television history, remembered for its pioneering storytelling approach and exploration of the vast American landscape.